I've got some demons to exercise. <clears throat> I'm uh, back off to Barston. Last time, if you recall, the last time I went to Barston, I didn't even get by. Um, that was for the Feeder Master Super League Team to Four qualifier, and I didn't even get by. Really disappointed. So um, yeah, today um, I'm off to the Feeder Masters. It's just the uh, Feeder Masters single singles competition, um, obviously sponsored by Preston Innovations. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I've got uh, I've got three tickets to qualify. Uh, I've got one up at Barston, which is today, and I've got two at Ferry Meadows. So hopefully on one of those three, I'll manage to qualify. But uh, yeah, just to go up there and get a few bites and a few fish would be nice. So compared to last time, so um, yeah, looking forward to it. It's um, about quarter to six in the morning now. I'm on the road about half an hour. So I'm going to go off to the Toby Carvery as per usual and uh, have a breakfast that will set me up for the day and uh, then I'll go off to the venue. Yes, uh, the weather's not been too bad, we've had a bit of rain this week, um, which is, you know, I suppose could potentially put the fishing off, but it, it hasn't rained for a couple of days, nothing significant anyway. Um, and I would say the temperature's been fairly consistent, sort of around about sort of 13 to, to 15 degrees <clears throat> and I think that's going to be similar today and the wind's going to change direction I think it sort of kind of starts off at a, a south south sort of westerly and ends up becoming an easterly but it's, it's not a very strong wind um, and it's meant to be yeah fairly bright all day I don't know if you can see the sun's just coming up so I think that's kind of how it's meant to be for most of the day so I don't think weather's going to play too much of a part in it really it's just going to be on the draw See if I can get me lucky arm going, um, and uh, yeah, obviously see if we can catch a few fish. I had a good draw last time and didn't even get a bite, so it doesn't always um, mean you're going to catch fish. Obviously, if you sit on a half decent peg. Um, yeah. Anyway, in the meantime, I've um, I fished the Ringers PDAA um, pairs um, a couple of weekends ago. Uh, with my good colleague Rob Pullins, my partner, and um, yeah, funnily enough, um, we kind of tossed a coin to see who was going to fish on what lake. It was at Ferry Meadows, um, and uh, they had half the anglers on one lake, Gunwade, and half the ang anglers on the other lake, Overton. And up until the match, the majority of the fish that had been being caught um, was on Overton on the low numbers. So of course, we all wanted to be. <laughs> on Overton in their low numbers. So anyway, me and Rob tossed a coin and I got Overton and uh, he got Gunway. And um, he then drew peg 53, which we thought wasn't gonna be particularly good because that was near where the river comes out into the lake. And uh, we'd had quite a bit of rain, so we was expecting obviously a lot of cold water to be going in and put the fish off that part, that part of the lake. Um, and I drew number five on Overton, one of the low numbers, which I thought, yeah, could be a bit of a flyer. As it turned out, um, Rob had a brilliant match, finished second, nearly won it, um, very close, um, with about 19 pound odd. And the guy next to him on 52, which is right by the river outlet, just beat him. Um, so yeah, so those two pegs fished really well. And um, my pegs fished really poor. Um, although I had a few fish, uh, luckily, two guys to my right didn't even get a bite, um, and the guy to my left didn't even get a bite, and then I think there was two more anglers after that to my left, and they got a few fish each, and then Steve Ringer, who managed to get seven bream, I believe. So. Um, yeah, but between the two of us, actually, we managed to come joint second with Steve Ringer and Phil Ringer. Uh, Phil managing to catch a really small perch, um, which was very significant because I think on his bank there was about 15 blanks. So that little perch was worth a lot of points. So um, in the end, they actually pipped us um, for second because 
Phil got more weight than what I did, so, um, but yeah, there we go, never mind, so we ended up coming third, so we've done the money, we've done well, uh, won a couple of hundred quid, uh, which was good, so, yeah, I'm slightly up this year, now, and, uh, yeah, all thanks to my mate, Rob Puller, and he did the, <laughs> he did the main bit of the work, finishing second, so, and, uh, yeah, so that was, that was good, so let's hope I can, um, continue uh, with the good draws and um, catch a few fish and hopefully get into the money today so anyway um, obviously it's quite an intense match so I don't know how much I'm gonna film but I'll try and film as much as I can and uh, yeah and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll should, right after I've had me Toby I should just film a little bit at the, um, at the draw and then we'll be off to the swim so I'll speak to you later cheers mate Well, as you can see, we're here at Barston. So I'm a little bit early. Had my Toby Carvery, that was nice. So yeah, just gonna go in now, have a bit of a sit down, have a bit of a chat with some of the other anglers. And uh, yeah, just wait for the draw. And I'll uh, yeah, let you know what swim I've got. Got a nice little water fountain here. I think there's a few koi carp in here. Here they are, look. So if all else fails, I'll come fishing in. <laughs> well, we're going for the draw now. Big man rush, as you can see. Fishing 11 until 4. I'll uh, yeah, give you a shout once I'm about to draw my number out. Here we go. I think one, two, four still in there, which is a flyer. That's what I want to pull out. There we go. Are you going to check something, Tony? Yeah, I'll probably tell you that. Where you are, Macca? Not there. I'll take that in that side as well. I'll have that. I'll have that. Scales. Johnny! So, you need to sweat the sweat for me. Set scales and uh, waste them off the fence. Alright? Cheers, Macca. Six. Oh, we're playing lovely. Right, your scales, if you don't mind, set the scales for him. Yeah. He's wasting on the fence. Just wait two minutes for the rest of everyone to put their name down. Yeah, crack it off. Oh, yeah, no one. Just wait a minute. And peg? Well, I'm going to be peg now. Peg six. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it's the end peg. And, uh, yeah. Right in a little alcove here, with the sun shining, that might possibly push the fish in here. And the wind's blowing down this way at the minute, it's not much of a breeze though. But uh, apparently the bridge is where I want to be casting to, never fished it before here. So uh, yeah, I've got some options, obviously I've got the bridge there. And uh, I've got all of this bank, obviously down to my left. So I'll tackle up and then uh, yeah, see how we go. Well I've got half an hour to go. Um, before the all in, it's half ten now, it's going to be eleven o'clock until four. Um, like I said, I've got the end peg here, and then I've got two spare pegs to me right as well. So I'm on peg six, so the next peg down is peg nine. So I've got, although it's the end peg, um, and it's at the wrong end of the lake really to be the end peg, um, because I've got a bit of space, I quite fancy it. Uh, I've got a bridge, apparently, the, it's a long chuck, I don't know if I'm going to be able to chuck that far, but it's a quite a long chuck, but I've got a bridge over there, apparently that's where you want to be chucking to get the fish, but I've also got a reed bed um, all along the bank over there, and there's definitely been fish crashing around there, moving around, knocking the rushes, it's the time of year now, but the carp are going to start spawning, so I've got some options, um, not the easiest cast over there, because I've got a tree just, just here, so, um, but I should be able to get some of them, the big carp just jumped out over there, I don't know if you saw that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've got about half an hour to go, got all my bait set up. Um, yeah, I've just gone for some um, two mil um, sweet F1 swim stim pellets, which I'm going to put in the um, method feeder. I'm actually going to be using a small hybrid feeder. And I've also gone for the um, Sonia Bates um, chocolate orange 
uh, method mix as well so to use in that going to use an array of different types of pop-ups and um, bandoms and um, I've got um, one of the ones I've, I went out and bought the other day didn't you see that's a main line match um, boil is 8mm uh, cell um, last time I was here the guy next to me actually caught on little white um, boilies so um, but I've got yeah I've got a different arrays I've got some ringers chocolate orange um, and I've got some Sonia Bates chocolate orange as well so um, obviously I've got uh, a backup for some you know bream skimmers I've got my maggots and my dead reds um, you know I've just got an array of different types of pellets as well to, to sort of put in the in my feed but yeah so I'll um, we'll just see sort of how it goes I'll probably fish the first couple of hours on a feeder uh, on a method feeder and uh, after the carp and just sort of see if I can get any pulls if it's looking a bit um, a bit hard then what I might do is decide to put a bit of bait out for some skimmers but I'm not going to do that until I'm a couple of hours in um, you know just because I'm on the end peg I don't think I really want to be spooking and want a fish to kind of come in if I can so um, but uh, yeah so yeah like I say half an hour I'm going to have a cup of coffee going to go and see my mate Nathan and then um, and I'll be back for the all off so, see you soon <laughs> I'm on the peg next door to me now this is uh, peg nine with uh, Liam Hart say hi Liam hi yeah, you right so, do you fancy chances here, Liam? No. <laughs> in a word. Uh, I think uh, peg one, two, four is in our section. Probably the best peg. Yeah. Uh, and then around 15, 16 is a good area. 15, 16, yeah. And then after that, quite fancy your peg, to be honest. I'm yeah. On the end. But, uh, <laughs> well, when you start bashing them out and I'm not getting enough, you might change your mind on that. Well, so. we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. But, uh, They've got fins, haven't they? That's no, yeah, they have indeed. Have a go. Oh, well, all the best, buddy. Yes, and yourself, and yourself. Cheers. Right, a minute to go. And then we're off. Uh, I decide I'm going to go for the rushes first. And, uh, you know, I see a few fish cruising around over there, so not quite such a far chuck. And, uh, yeah, I'll give it a go out there for a couple of chucks, see how, how I get on. If I don't have any ink there, then I'll try and chuck out for the bridge. So, have a look. Yeah, about 30 seconds to go. Okay. Small little mini hybrid feeder. Right. The little white cell boiling. That's it, all in. Here we go. Wish me luck. Bad first cast. It's brand new mono that I've got on here because I've been fishing with um, been fishing with braid for all during the winter. And this is the first time I've gone over to mono. The rules change here at Boston from the first of May. You're not allowed to use braid as your main line. You can use it as hook lengths, but uh, not as your main line. So, yeah, just need to get the mono a bit wet. And that'll, uh, there we go. Hopefully catch a few. Well, first cast I had a big liner. This is my second cast, it's gone round, I've got one on. So, already better than last time.
Pleased with that as a stop. Get out there and go again. It wasn't out there a minute, <clears throat> it's gone back and went straight away. We've got a few fish out there, which is good. This is number two. Small left one, but that'll do. Number two. Right. Let's hope they keep coming.
slowed up a little bit. I had to wait a little while for that one. It's been about an hour and a quarter, quarter now. I've had three fish. So let's keep going. Well, we're three hours in, we've got two hours to go. Um, I've had five fish, two F1s and three carp, um, and I've lost a carp or an F1, wasn't sure, didn't have it on that long, to be honest with you. Um, it's not been prolific, but you know, there's, there has been fish about, but I've had to work quite hard to get them. I've had a cast so tight to the rushes over there, and I've actually caught um, three of my fish in the rushes, I've, you know, the cast has gone just a little bit too long and it's actually gone into the rushes a little bit and I've left it there and I've caught three of my fish from there. Um, it's gone a little bit quiet over there now, so I've come away from there and I'm just casting over towards the bridge. Um, see if there's anything over there. Definitely seen fish jumping and that over there, but is they're going to feed or not is another thing. So, not say so I've got two hours to go. Um, I'll give it a few casts over there. And hopefully pick up one or two. If not, I should come back onto the rushes, and I may try and do an underarm cast and just chuck it out down into this bay down here. So, all right, I'll catch you later. Well, there's an hour and fifteen to go. Um, still only got three carp and two F1s. I did try just in the margin, just here, because there was a few fish knocking around in the rushes. And after about five or six minutes. Um, the tip went right round, struck, nothing there at all. So it must have been a big liner. Um, and then I went out there again and nothing at all and the fish have stopped knocking the rushes now. So I tried just down here, this this margin just here as well, but nothing. So um, now I've gone back out over to the rushes on the far bank now where I caught my fish. So, and uh, yeah, I'll like say we haven't got much longer left really. So it's. Uh, boiling hot now, it's gone very quiet, there's not many people catching at all. Uh, although saying that, Liam just had one about 10 minutes ago. Next peg down. But, um, but yeah, it's gone a bit quiet. There's not many fish moving around there either. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'll just keep going, hopefully have a few more in the last hour. Well, it's just over five minutes to go. Last two hours has been a disaster. I've had nothing. <coughs> I've had one big liner, and that's it. But, um, yeah, it's, got, it's just got really red hot, and um, it's, yeah, it's just gone really quiet. There still is the odd fish knocking over the rushes over the far side there, but just can't get a bite over there at the moment. So, I tried several different places, but no, nothing's having anything, I'm afraid. So, yeah, I was 
quite lucky, I suppose, to get the five fish. But, um, and obviously I lost one as well. But, uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping to sort of consistently sort of getting two fish an hour. So it would have been nice to have got ten fish, maybe a few more. But um, I don't think anywhere's really fished any swim. From what I've heard, has fished really, really well. So, but uh, yeah, five fish isn't going to get me anywhere. I caught more than that in the first hour, sort of. I don't know, seven seven pegs down. So, but, um, yeah, none of mine are particularly big either, really. So, I mean, enough. I've heard one bloke had one first cast, which was about 17, 18 pounds. So, um, that's nearly all my weight probably put together. But there you go. It's uh, that's how it is. At least I have a few pulls today, anyway. So, that's um, not say just over five minutes left, and then I've got to weigh in because I'm the end peg. So I've got the scales. I should do that and then weigh myself last. Okay. Cheers. Well, I've only got a couple of F1s, haven't I, no skimmers? Well, on my way home now, done the weigh in. Yeah, um, bit of a tough day, really. Nice, so I caught a few fish, but uh, I was nowhere near it. Um, yeah, I think um, well, Glenn Lawrence, I think his name was, got his name on here. Uh, yeah, Glenn Lawrence had 110 pounds um, off a of peg 17, which was in my section. And then there was an 88 pounds off a of peg 14. Um, yeah, no one on peg 16. Then we had a 58 pounds off a of peg 13, 52 off of peg 20, and a 22 off a of peg 22, 65, 8, which was Nathan Goodman. Um, I ended up with 18 pounds 10. And the chap next door to me, uh, Liam Hart, he didn't weigh in the end. Uh, um, and the weight sort of slowly went up, and then it was like 35 pounds, and it slowly went up. Yeah, my corner was just it was just grim, <laughs> hard work. And once that sun come up, that was it, kind of killed it. But um, no, I enjoyed the day. I enjoyed the, I like the venue. Um, yeah, just a shame, really, I wasn't where the where the fish were. Um, but um, like I say, I mean, I was having to cast right in the rushes to to get to get a bite, literally into the rushes. All my fish come out of there. But, um, yeah, last two hours I didn't have a touch, a sniff, a line, or anything. It was just an unemployed. The wind wasn't blowing into that bay. So, but um, never mind. I'm on my way home now. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, the next one I should be recording is um, 
I'm not sure if it's either feeder, feeder masters of Ferry Meadows or it's probably going to be a, a ringers, um, part of the ringers qualifiers um, at Ferry Meadows. So, but uh, yeah, I'll, um, I shall see you then. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Um, please hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I shall see you soon. So you've watched Alan Andrews in the swim.